Welcome to Altium Designer 17's Advanced PCB Course Module on Test Points for the PCB. In PCB fabrication and assembly, the need for testing both of the bare and the assembled boards can be aided through the addition of test points. Let's look at how this is done in Altium Designer using both manual and automatic assignments. It is possible to manually set a via or a pad in its properties window to be a fabrication or assembly test point, either on the top or the bottom, or both. Keep in mind that assembly test points for device pads may not be allowed for surface mount devices and on the same side as the through-hole device to be mounted on. The most efficient method for creating test points is to use the test point manager to automatically assign test points. The assignment is based on test point rules that must be set up in advance of running the test point manager. Looking more closely at the rules, we see two types, fabrication and assembly, with each type, there are both style and usage rules defined. Style rules specifies the pad or via requirements for test points, while the usage rules scope what nets need a test point or what do not. Looking at the fabrication test point style rule, we see the preferred size constraints being 55 mil for the pad and 35 mil for the hole. Notice most importantly that the grid section has been checked. Using a grid can reduce the cost of the test fixturing with standard spacing of test points. Here again is the top versus bottom assignment allowance. In this case, we're going to be limiting test points to the bottom. Given that we have limited both the assembly and fabrication test points to the bottom side, we can avoid the cost of a clamshell or double-sided test fixture. Notice also the allow test point under component option is unchecked with the assembly rule. Looking now at the usage rules, we have all the nets scoped with a single test point per net required. Allowing additional manual test points can be a help with test coverage. Now with the rules set up, we can go ahead and run the test point manager. Clicking on the tools pull down menu, we select test point manager to open it. We see all the nets and their current status of fab and assembly test points. They're all set to incomplete except the one ground net that we had manually assigned. Clicking on the Fabrication Test Point button and then Assign All will attempt to assign fabrication test points to all of the nets. As you can see, we have full coverage. Clicking now on the Assembly Test Points button and Assign All, we will attempt to add assembly test points to the PCB. Notice that only 4 were added, leaving 22 unassigned. This is due to the lack of vias as required by the assembly rules for the assembly test points. If we add some vias manually, we can then rerun the test point manager and increase our net coverage. Now that we have completed the test point assignment, we will want to generate a test point report that can be reviewed and used by the PCB house. To generate a test report for the test points, we will use the out job and look at a defined fabrication and assembly test point report. Double clicking on the report entry opens up the associated test point report setup window. With the test point setup window, we have a number of options. There's the report format, the test point layers, reported units, and the coordinate position origin reference. Using CSV or comma separated values, or the IPC D356A formats are industry standards. The unit should match the PCB, and the origin is normally set to the PCB relative origin for single PC boards. With the IPC report format checked, there are further options that can be set to ensure the needed information for the PCB house. The Adjacency Information Check provides a list or a report of nets that could possibly be shorted, while Board Outline provides the outline and other data not directly associated with a particular net, but this gives us the ability to add additional information for the test house. Clicking on the Generate Content button will generate the test point files. This completes the instruction on test point insertion and reporting, where we set up and inserted test points. Please do the exercise on test points.